Alright guys, uh, good morning to all of you And this is me, Brave Digger Joseph Pepel for at Zero Now I'm in my new company uh, I moved to another company For my former company is reducing uh, their workforce So they have to expel uh, some of the new workers So luckily this new company called me uh, this company I um, I already applied for this company and been waiting for two years for the company so now I'm operating the Volvo EC 350DL uh, excavator uh, this is a Pan Bonio highway project uh, sorry um, the the windows is a bit blur because of the rain now it is a heavy downpour so we cannot work um, because uh, it is to reduce the risk of um, soil erosion and landslides and later uh, after the rain subsided uh, we have to continue our work and this is a, the dial meter uh, sorry uh, this is the uh, monitor panel for the Volvo uh, EC350 uh, see this is Volvo and here is my um, control panels and well uh, it is equipped with uh, air, condi air conditioning and it is very 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 cold maybe uh, the same standard with the Korean Volvo and the Swedish Volvo and as I know, uh, this this Volvo model, uh, this Volvo model, the EC three fifty D, has been manufactured in Korea, and some of the spare parts, uh, including the computer system, uh, I I guess uh, it maybe came from Sweden, from its uh, origin uh, origin country. Uh, now here. Uh, my windows uh, there's a fracture at my, uh, on my window uh, maybe the former or the past operator had operated and then eventually uh, maybe hit some rocks or some uh, tree branches uh, last time this excavator uh, has been placed in Smatan Teluk Melano um, highway construction and now the the construction has been completed so this is another uh, Volvo EC 350D it is waiting for the truck it is waiting for the loading so I'm quite happy with uh, this company for it for it provides um, a good uh, quality of safety uh, when we are working in the highway and the seat uh, of the uh, Volvo uh, EC350 is uh, very comfortable and then you can sleep uh, inside the cabin oh no auto engine shut down this is uh, one of the major function uh, for the for all Volvo excavators there's, it is auto engine shutdown. Uh, okay. If I release this, uh, if I release this uh, hydraulic gauge, um, the auto engine shutdown, uh, the auto engine shutdown um, notification. Uh, will disappear oh uh, my whatsapp chat uh, arrived <laughs> I'm sorry for that and now I'm uh, I'm digging uh, up to the up to the pile of uh, rocks and dirt uh, to make stockpile and then I want to make my way up to the to the pile maybe to remove to remove uh, all the overburdens here and the overburden will be loaded into trucks 
and up there up there is the slope the slope for the highway and there there are two excavators uh, including one breaker there one breaker and one excavator both constructing slopes for uh, for the highway so this is a uh, uh, down there, there's a raw highway and there's a compactor, a Sakai compactor over there and there's an, uh, one New Holland bed pusher and one uh, there's one truck uh, a tanker truck for us to smear water on the road so that the road uh, uh, looks very very clean or maybe um, right now I want to shut all my uh, want to shut my engines uh, in order to save my fuel. And inside the inside here it is very cold, you know. <laughs> it's cold uh, as ice. It is icy cold, you know. Mm. Another thing is uh, that another thing. Uh, that is special about uh, my Volvo 350D is it has a big bucket it is uh, it is suitable for uh, cutting slopes and uh, re removing overburden overburden sorry for my pronunciation and moving bulk materials and truck loading and here uh, it has a uh, one, two, three, four, five, five function. There's idle, uh, F for fine operating, so that uh, there's uh, extra uh, pump flow. Uh, if I'm using the F mode, I will be having uh, extra pressure and extra pump flow to lift. Um, uh, Bug materials such as big rocks, uh, big objects, or maybe lifting mode. G is general. There's a G, uh, G1, G2, G3, and G4. Uh, H is for um, high, and it is uh, for general. Um, it is to increase the production and performance. And the P is the power mode. Uh, power mode is for uh, extra power. And if I if I press this one, I press this button, and I have my power boost for about nine seconds. Um, I only can push it uh, once, uh, and then it the signal of the power boost will be disappeared. And here is my auxiliary, a uh, auxiliary, auxil, uh, auxiliary button. It is optional. And here is my horn. And also here is the auxiliary, a uh, auxiliary button. And here I have my FM radio. Uh, there's a rewind, fast forward. And then it is. This is for uh, my travel. Uh, my travel. Uh, my travel alarm. This is my radio. Uh, rewind and fast forward for the MB3s. This is uh, my my radio uh, volume. I don't know what is this what is this function <laughs> I don't want to disturb it oh it is uh, it is the cabin light and this is maybe the I don't know what is this and um, I forgot to tell you that my Volvo is not in standard ISO pattern. Uh, again, the auto engine shutdown uh, appeared. So I have to pull this one. 
then the signal disappeared and this is all the control patterns actually this is a standard ISO pattern but uh, all, all the operators uh, in our in this company uh, op uh, op they are they are used to operating the Hitachi excavator so the control pattern for their Volvo has been changed into Hitachi control pa patterns so if it is control pattern for Hitachi and boom in the bucket uh, it remains the same and uh, last time I made a video on a Hitachi uh, Texas 200 uh, video when I was uh, back in my uh, former company uh, they operate Hitachi excavators and and I only and I tell you the difference uh, be between the Hitachi that we operate in uh, Southeast Asia and uh, it is different from any Hitachis uh, all over the world so uh, if I pull this backwards it will swing to the left I push this forward and it is it will swing to the right and if I uh, pull this one uh, pull this one uh, towards my tight or towards my leg um, the deeper will come towards you and I if I push this um, outside the deeper will come out uh, if it is a uh, standard ISO pattern uh, if I pull this one uh, backwards uh, the deeper will come towards you and uh, if I pull the uh, if I push this one forward and if I push this one forward uh, it the deeper will go out and if I push this one to the left to the to the right um, I pull the, I pull this to the right uh, it will swing to the right and if I push this one uh, to the left it will swing to the left that is a uh, standard as to pattern and it is quite different from any other excavators uh, around the world okay uh, that's all for my video today uh, I hope you enjoy my video and thank God I join this company and have a lot of opportunity to learn new things and learning how to operate uh, excavators maybe uh, other stuff if uh, if uh, people let me to operate it but uh, so far there's no um, there's still no permission from uh, my foreman or my supervisor to, to learn anything but I am interested in learning the compact the Sakai compactor, roller compactor, or the bulldozer, maybe or the wheel loader next time. Uh, but the wheel loader is not here. Uh, it is at our workshop at the stockpile, uh, loading uh, three inch DCR stones. Okay, uh, that's all for me. I don't want to talk uh, much, and I'm happy to make this video. And and I will see you uh, very very soon and I will be uploading uh, construction videos and my drumming videos uh, for you and okay uh, I am Breath Digger Joseph Pepel for at zero and I will see you very very soon thank you